Hi there everybody, a hot day, a crowded beach, and it became a devastating scene today. A six-year-old girl lost her life in apparent drowning. The girl was pulled from the water at the Lake Elmo Park Reserve swimming pond just after one this afternoon. Carol Evans, Heidi Wigdahl spoke with witnesses and has the very latest. Sunday afternoon, temperatures reached into the 80s, drawing people to the water. When we got here, it was um, just starting to get busy. Um, lots of people, lots of kids, lots of families. Um, it was a beautiful sunny day, so. Kayla Johnson of Oakdale came to the swimming pond at Lake Elmo Park Reserve with her son. About an hour later, she saw someone carrying a six-year-old girl out of the water. She wasn't breathing. Everybody was in shock, kind of like not knowing really what was going on. People started to clear the water immediately. The Washington County Sheriff's Office says deputies responded to the beach a little before 1.30 p.m. When we arrived here, there was ambulance and uh, police on scene with the fire truck. And um, when we got here, they were trying to revive the little girl. Park manager Wayne Sandberg says there were no lifeguards on duty at the time, but two beach monitors were working. One of them performed CPR on the girl until police arrived. An ambulance took her to Regions Hospital, where she was pronounced dead. That is very, you know, heartbreaking. The two acre swimming pond can get as deep as four and a half feet. Sandberg says the park makes announcements every hour, letting swimmers know there are no guards on duty and that children must be supervised by an adult. Children six years old and younger must have an adult with them in the water. Please take this time to check and make sure everyone is present in your group. During safety breaks, everyone is asked to leave the swimming pond. It was pretty scary being a parent of an eight-year-old and knowing that she was smaller than him. Just prayers go out to the family. Now, Sandberg said lifeguards will start work in about two weeks, but even then, they're not guarding every hour of the day. It's typically noon to 8 p.m. The Washington County Sheriff's Office and the Washington County Parks Department are investigating this case. Camille and Corey. All right, well, thank you, Heidi. Take a look.